All right, boys and girls, we're here for a first look at the new feature that's gone GA. It's Warehouse Snapshots. This just hit. It's now out. You can use this. Let's go take a look at it. I, I'm excited about it. Hey, like, subscribe, do the whole YouTube thing. If you want early access to this content, become a member. As little as $5 a month, you get this stuff as soon as I get done creating it. All right, this is uh, this is spot on live. This is uh, this is brand new. Let's review what Warehouse Snapshot is. Let's check it out. Warehouse Snapshots provide customers with a consistent and stable representation of their warehouse as of a specific point in time. A data engineer responsible for running hourly ETL jobs in his Contoso Daily Sales Warehouse wants to ensure that the data analysts have a consistent source of truth. Whilst their hourly ETL is running, the data engineer wants to create a new warehouse snapshot before starting her ETL. Here data engineer can choose to create a warehouse snapshot from the current warehouse state. They can also select to create a warehouse snapshot from a previous point in time. The data engineer chooses to capture the current warehouse state by selecting current. They give the warehouse snapshot a name and clicks create. The analyst wants to query the warehouse data whilst ETL is running. They select the warehouse snapshot created by the data engineer and starts running queries against it. Analysts can rest assured that the data they are querying is static, consistent, and not changing whilst his queries are run. As ETL jobs complete, the data engineer can roll forward the warehouse snapshot to represent the latest consistent state of the warehouse. Data engineer can do this through the UI or programmatically, depending on the preference. Through a few simple clicks, the data engineer can capture the current state of the warehouse by selecting Manage Warehouse Snapshots. In this view, they can select Capture New State and choose to capture the current state. The data engineer can also update the snapshot programmatically by adding a step to the end of her ingestion pipeline. Here they can include an alter database statement command to update the timestamp of her warehouse snapshot to the current timestamp, reflecting the end of the ETL process. The analyst is now able to continue querying the most up-to-date data seamlessly without interrupting any existing queries that were already executing before the snapshot timestamp was updated. This is possible due to the warehouse's snapshot isolation semantics which ensure that the most recent committed transaction is read whilst the connection string stays intact when a query is run, an informational message is displayed showing the timestamp being reflected in the warehouse snapshot. Say hello to Warehouse Snapshots, a game-changing feature designed to give analysts seamless access to the latest rock-solid version of their warehouse, even as data keeps evolving. Okay, this gives us some incredible opportunities. I want to thank uh twinkle cyril she's a pm who got me hooked up with this stuff but let's let's check this out and let's see how this works so i'm going to go into my uh you know data engineering dev environment uh i mean let's see if this is actually out there i'm going to go over and hit it i'm going to head over to my warehouse ventureworks warehouse management I could see a new warehouse snapshot. So I just click on new warehouse snapshot and it's going to say, okay, Hey, create a warehouse snapshot name. I'm actually going to call this a uh, data warehouse snapshot and does not let me rename it. Oh, it does. Venture works warehouse. Now check this shiz out. This is going to be my read warehouse. Let's say, okay, current. It's going to create that. So now I should be able to take like my queries that I have over here. So this is just right. So this is uh, my queries here. I should be able to go back over and see, okay, hey, I want to go to my warehouse snapshot. Got it. This is my read. Oh my, did it carry my queries over? It did not carry my queries over. That's okay. I kind of didn't think it would. Oh, wait. It did it? No, it didn't. There it goes. Okay, and I can run this. And wow. So look how fast that was. I mean, it just a couple clicks. I went from 
uh, the main uh, one that I'm processing to my read, uh, and it's all right there. It's all accessible. Gosh, this it gives us so much power. Let's talk about what you can do with this, and I can even manage it. So managing is really easy. Just capture a new state. Capture it. Okay, okay, everybody. Let's tune in. Let's talk about this. What does this mean you can do? Um, not only does it mean you can create snapshots that people are actively using for while you're processing, like you could create historical ones, kind of like what you saw in the video there where she was like, okay, this is a snapshot as of this date. But you could programmatically have, this is my re, or this is my process warehouse where all of your processing happens. And at the end, your read snapshotted warehouse just gets repopulated and you put that into a pipeline. So you've got all of your reports, all of your analytics, all your analysts running off of that read warehouse. And then it's just, you could still be processing at the exact same time. That creates this awesome segmentation of duties. You don't have to worry about like, hey, I have people hitting stuff as it's in flight. You could even put in data validations in there before you sync to read. So if you've got some like long validation scripts that you need to do to make sure that you've loaded everything properly, you could do all of that in your process warehouse. Do that to completion. And then when you have a successful validation done, you then point everyone over to, or then you, you do the snapshot, you do the, the manage the snapshot over to the production space. Well, I mean, this creates some incredible opportunities here for segmentation and processing. Um, as well as like capturing historical states, all right? Like, okay, so you know, once a month, I'm gonna on month end capture the state of my warehouses and just dump that out there. Oh, like I, I think this creates a whole bunch of auditability, a whole bunch of different things that we can do with this. That I'm excited about it. I want to hear from you as to what you're excited about. And a big shout out to Twinkle Cyril for your help in get bringing this to production to life. I'm super excited about this. You all have the best day ever. Peace. All right. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Don't worry. I got you covered. All right. So if you need help, I got team. I have teams of teams of people that can help you out with any challenge you got. Head over bakertilly.com slash digital. Click on the get some more information. Make sure you put my name in there. All right. If you put my name in as a reference, it gets routed to me. I, 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 we get prioritization. All right. But if you think you could do it, and I know you can, check out these videos right here. They'll help you out.